Hi, I'm Will Mayhew, and for my video journal this week, I chose to use the article, um, the looking, uh, the digital self, uh, through the looking glass of telecompress and others. And in this article, it talks about the looking glass self and how this idea is um, is carried out is through. Uh, myself, for instance, I would look to my peers and my friends uh, to form opinions about me and, and form uh, views about me that in return I would then accept and uh, take in as my own and, and try to be this person or, or form keep these opinions um, forming about myself. And so with this idea of the looking glass self, you have an individual almost looking to other people to make sure that he um, he is reflecting the image that that uh, that they want and listening to what they say rather than um, what you want and not saying criticism is bad or other people's opinion is bad but whenever it comes to this I feel like it becomes very dangerous and along with that um, I found an article uh, or a video on YouTube called Beyond the Looking Glass Self-Esteem and Body Image and this video basically talks about uh, the dangers of the looking glass self and how um, it can be harmful to your self-esteem and uh, internally, mentally, um, whereas when, if you're not necessarily using letting other people form opinions about you, it could po possibly be more positive even though you may not be doing what society wants. But um, in this video, the main point uh, came through a young African American boy, probably around the age of eight or nine, and the interviewer asked him about school, and he said in school he got made fun of all the time, and they said that he needed people were telling him he needs to lose weight, and his teachers were telling him he needs to lose weight, and uh, they had to go to a doctor, and a doctor was telling him ways that he could lose weight, but then all of a sudden, whenever he was on the football field, everyone wanted him on his team because he was bigger and in football you're supposed to be bigger and you know for blockers and uh, defensive ends and stuff like that so that was the only place he felt like he fit in so uh, I thought that really culminated the video and, and a good example of the looking glass self where um, he had this these opinions that were forming about him that in school he was supposed to look like this well in the football field or in sports and athletics he was supposed to look like you know, another another um, something else a different body and um, it's funny how the two uh, are so different but at the same time he chose to reject what people were saying in school and even on the football field even though that was positive but he was just li wanting he said he wanted to live his life and enjoy his life based off of um, what he wanted to do and he was almost confused but in, in, in a sense that's basically what he was trying to say so that's, um, and I definitely believe that what he did was right, and as a society, we need to do that as well. And it will help us um, better ourselves and better our friends, better our peers, where you tell the truth, but at the same time, um, you know, if, if you're asked of an, an opinion about someone, you can tell the truth, but at the same time, that person needs to uphold their own standards and understand they are who they are and they are unique rather than this looking glass self that can potentially be dangerous, but also has some positives to it. So that's what I think about that in this week's um, video journal.